So let's talk about how we can create AD groups in PowerShell and then add users to those groups. Well, creating an AD group is actually really, really easy. But let's start with the, let's start by getting our commands for the noun AD group, AD group. And you're going to see a pattern here. So we've got new AD group, get AD group, remove AD group, set AD group. All right, these are really similar to the commands we've had for users and for uh, organizational units. So very, very similar. And we're going to create a group using the new AD group. Now, I want to show you a couple of things here. Let's do the get help for new AD group. I'm going to pipe that to more. And we've got the new AD group. Now we need to have a name. And notice that's just going to be a string value. So we're just going to type that in. We also need to set a group scope. Because notice this right here is not in square brackets. So we have to set a group scope. Now whether we set say dash group scope or not, that's optional. But we have to set a group scope and it has to be one of these three things, which is what the curly brackets are here for. It's got to be something in this list. It's got to be domain local, global, or universal. And remember, domain local is significant only in the local domain. Global is uh, wider, it's significant across the forest. And then universal is what we use for multi-forest relationships. Now, uh, also remember, um, typically, and I'm not going to do it this way because we're just demoing this, typically your users are going to go into global groups, your global groups then will become members of domain local groups, and domain local groups will be assigned rights. Now, we're just going to create a domain local group and we're going to add users to the domain local group just for the demo here, but if you're having any kind of complex uh, Active Directory or NTFS permissions, and you want to integrate it with Active Directory, this is how you're going to want to use it. Users go into global groups. Global groups then become members of domain local groups. Local groups have permissions. Now, um, the rest of it, we have credentials. We can set a description, a display name. The group category can be either distribution or security. Now, the difference is security groups can have permissions. Distribution groups can't. Distribution groups are utterly pointless unless you're integrating with Exchange. Then it basically becomes a contact list. That's the only time distribution groups are important. And because of that, notice this entire thing is in square brackets, which means you don't have to set it. If you don't, it will default to security. And then home page instance, who it's managed by other principal or other attributes, a specific SAM account name if you want. What we really need is the name and the group scope. And those are the only things we actually really need. Now, since we are in a Star Trek frame of mind. We've already created a local group in a previous video for DS9. Now I'm going to create a um, group for crew to go into that organizational unit. And remember, we have this path here, which is going to be where this thing goes. And I've already set my path variable. So dollar sign $path is that DS9 organizational unit. So here's how this is going to work. It's going to be new AD group. I'm going to set the name to crew. I'm going to set the group scope. And I don't have to put group scope there, but I'm going to for clarity. Group scope is going to be domain local. And I want it to go to a specific path, which is dollar sign path. And that will create my group. So now if I want to find out if it's actually there, it's get ad object. And I want to find everything. So filter is going to be the name is like everything. So just get it all for me. The search base is going to be that path. And now I have my users that I've put in there. And also notice now I have crew, the common name, CN, com, or crew, name, crew, and type is group. So my group went into that, um, that organizational unit. Now, I want to see the other settings for that group. So it's going to be get ad group, 
and I'm going to specify crew. And here also you're going to see the distinguished name, which tells me you went into crew. It's a security group. Remember that was default. I set the group scope to domain local, and then here's my other options for it. Okay. Now, I want to add new members to this group. And so the way I'm going to do that is with the ad group member command. In fact, let's do this. Let's do get command where the noun is asterisk ad group asterisk. And now you're going to see we have the ad group commands we looked at earlier, but you're also going to have add ad group member, get ad group, mem group member, and remove ad group member. So pretty straightforward. Show me what's there, add new ones, get rid of them. So I'm going to do add AD group member. And I want to add to the crew. And I'm going to add, actually, let me do a get help on this just so you can see it. Get help, add AD group member, filter it through more. So we need to set the identity, AD group, and the members, AD principal. Now, these are showing as actually needing AD objects, but it will actually work if you just type in the name. Now, also notice this right here. That means I can put in a bunch of things separated by commas. So I don't have to do one of these for every single... Uh, I don't have to do a separate command for every single user that I want to add to this group. So I can do add ad group member. I want to add to the crew. That's a positional parameter, so my ad group is the first one. And then the members I want to add, I want to add d Dalton, comma, s Dalton, comma, j Dalton. Oops. I think I have all three of those users created now. And so I add them all in. Now, to see if it worked, we'll do get help for get ad group member, which is the command that we're going to use to find our group membership. And this one, again, really, really simple. Get ad group member, and then give me the group name. So we're going to do get ad group member crew. And this is going to show us all of our users. Now, it's giving us full username information. So if I want to tighten this up and view just the names, let me pipe that to format table and just show me the name. And so S Dalton, J Dalton, D Dalton. And then I can put more information in if I want. I can do the uh, Sam account name or the distinguished name or something like that to give me more information. But that shows me my group membership. Now, what if I wanted to take, like, say, my account and make it an administrator account? Well, that's really easy to. All I have to do is add it to the uh, administrators group. So it's add ad group member to administrators and then I can do administrators or domain admins or whatever and I can find which ones I have for member by doing get ad group and sorry get ad group and then filter name like asterisk and then I want to Get the right thing there. Pipe that to format table. Remember, FT is an alias for format table. And I just want to view the name. And this is going to show me all of them, including my domain admins. So I could add myself to the domain admins or whatever account that I wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to do it to the regular local administrators. So get or add AD group member administrators. D. Dalton. Now, I want to see all of the things that my account is a member, because remember, users typically are members of more than one group. So how do I find what groups an individual member is a part of? I can do get AD group member to show me who are members of a particular group. Okay, that's easy enough. But what if I want to do a, um, a list of all the groups that a specific account is? Well, that is, and this is a little bit longer one, but it's still pretty simple. Get AD principal, and that principal is 
security principle. So that might be a computer user group, uh, whatever. Anything that's a security principle is going to be caught, caught by this AD principle. Group membership. And then I give it the principal name. So I want my principal name is going to be my account. And I want to do a D Dalton. Now again, lots of information. So I'm going to format table or FT. And this time I want to look at the distinguish name. And you're going to see that I'm members of domain u a member of domain users, administrators, and crew. Okay, there we go. We have created a new group. We have looked at the uh, settings for the group. We've added group members. We've displayed group members, and then we've displayed all the groups that any particular security principle or user computer, whatever qualifies as a security principle, what all groups they are members of.